yo, shout out to Apple and the team over there developing Logic. You guys are doing your thing over there. Keep up the good work. Bolo! What is good, you guys? Before we get started with the video, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys comment, and please turn on those post notifications so you will know the next time I have another video available. And please go down in the description and click on my drum kits if you do not have it, and click on everything else that is in there if you do not have it as well. And of course, at the end of this video, if you like it, hit that thumbs up. If you do not like it, go ahead and hit that thumbs down. You know, I really don't care. So today is the day. Well, actually yesterday was the day, but you know, sometimes it takes a little time to get these videos and everything together. But yesterday, Apple just released Logic 10.6. Oh man, this is actually pretty cool because they actually have a ton of updates, but I'm only really concerned with like two or three things but really like two things for sure and uh i'm actually kind of impressed you know i'm an ipad type of a guy but i still do a lot of stuff on logic say for instance routing my stuff in from the mp and even doing some mixing from my ipad but now with this new updated logic remote and how you can go into the step sequencer and actually like do everything from the ipad things are getting a little bit interesting is it something we don't know about? Maybe something in the future? Well, we don't know what they're gonna do, but all I know is right now is that Logic is so stable and it is very, very, very dope. So now I'm being able to use the iPad with Logic Pro 10.6 and the new updated features with it, it is crazy. And there's another thing with the sampler, you know. Another thing that I actually like what they did, they actually made a shortcut, you know what I'm saying, in that sampler, and that's pretty dope. So let me go ahead and show you guys what's going on uh, with the new Logic Pro update, and I'm gonna show you the two, three things. It's really like two things that really stood out with me, and at the end of the day, these are the things I'm gonna use the most. Now, there's a ton of stuff on here that they have done to make this program so stable and just, just, just so simple man it's it's a lot of stuff to to really talk about but these two things i'm really going to talk about because they mean so dear to me or three things it's two or three it's, i think it's two i don't know let's go ahead and get to it and let me show you guys what is going on in this new update okay so let's talk about a few things that we got going on here and number one is the integration with the ipad i have my old trusted ipad right here the old 10.7 yeah the 10.7 but it's a lot of spit on here gee whiz mm. can't make a youtube video with all that on there mm. so yeah i got my uh old trusty ipad 10.7 the ipad pro and uh i was supposed to get rid of it because when i got my new ipad i was supposed to trade this in but i never traded it in because you know, we just, as creators, we just like to collect stuff, I think. Let me wake up my computer real quick. All right, so now that my computer is awoken, awaken, awoken, well, it's on right now, and Logic Pro is on right now, and I actually made a step sequencer track on there, and when I did that, guess what happened on the iPad? Bam, there it is. The step sequencer now shows up on the iPad, and all we got to do is, with the new Logic Remote, it has a new tab, the step sequencer tab right here. You just click on that and then bam, there you go. So now we can actually program our drums inside of the iPad. So right now I can just kind of make something pretty cool. Mm. All right, y'all get the gist of that. Now, the good thing about this is we have all the same controls that we would have inside of the actual computer. So let's say, for instance, this hi-hat, I'm gonna do a note repeat 
on the hi-hat and I just hit note repeat right here at the bottom as you can see right here well I don't know if you can kind of see it or not but it says note repeat right here on the bottom and it says step on and off that's how you put the notes in here with the step on and off and then you have the note repeat and you can actually change these values by hitting this little tab right here and then you can go in here and it has velocity value gate tied note octave uh, loop start and end note repeat chance start offset step rate and skip so I'm gonna go right here to note repeat and I'm gonna go right here to this last one uh actually I'm gonna do this one right here this first one and I'm gonna just break that up into four and let's listen to it I'm gonna take that off right now And that is so dope because now you can just do it with your hand. Now we can actually go in here and change like more values or whatever like that. As you see, as I pressed on that tab with the hi-hat, you can change all the same values, just like velocity, gate, tie. So if I want to change the velocities on these, I can just kind of just go through with my finger and I can just do that. And then the velocities kind of change. So when I play it back, That is amazing. So you can actually do this inside of the iPad and then you can make all your other changes like your pattern length, your step rate, your playback mode, your swing, um, pattern key, scale, quantize, all that good stuff you can do in there. And we can go over here to, you know, loop selected regions and all the other good stuff. A lot of stuff that we probably won't use. Well, I know some of y'all might, but I'm not really using it. But and we can actually go in here and we can actually change the drum kits in here via the iPad. So if I want to go in here and just change this to boom bap, I can go ahead and do that and press play. Or maybe in like beat like beat machine or something. So as you can see, this is actually very cool. I use this mostly for like my hi-hats now because you can just go in and I can just pull up a hi-hat and I can just do everything I need to do with my hi-hats in here. I really don't use it for the drums as much, but as you can see, you can have a lot of fun just making up some nice drum loops and some drum patterns to get something started. So yeah, that was number one. All right, so now that we got that done, let me show you something that I really, really, really like, and they actually gave us a shortcut. So right now I have a classic electric piano pulled up right now. I'm gonna play it. So let me go ahead and just record something in there real quick. So that's pretty cool. And now this is the great part. I actually can just take these notes, these MIDI notes, and I can just take them, drag them over to the side, and they have a sampler zone per note. Click on that. And now they have taken my three sounds and actually made an instrument with it. So now when I play it back, just like that and then if of course if i want to get it to where the notes kind of hold out a little bit longer i can go into modulations and just turn these up right here turn those releases and stuff up and then now yeah that might have been a little too long but at the end of the day you see what I'm talking about. This right here for me is a biggie because they went ahead and just took the guessing completely away from like doing this. So as you can see, this is very simple, very quick, and you can actually create your own sounds doing this as well. And uh, man, I can't believe they just made a shortcut for that. That is great. Now, amongst all this good stuff that we're talking about, one of the biggest things right now is this program does not crash. Let me repeat, it takes a lot for this program to crash and even if it does crash, 
It has an auto save function, which I know a lot of you guys use because sometimes this thing does crash, but the stability of this program is unmatched. I use a lot of programs, all the way from MPC software to sometimes even FL. And right now, this right here is probably one of the most stable programs out. It, matter of fact, it is the most stable program out, in my opinion. In my opinion, it is very stable. It can handle a lot of stuff. So that's kind of like my third thing, the stability of this program. And they have so many little tweaks that they've done to this. And I really can't go over because it's like hundreds of tweaks that they've done to make this program more stable, more efficient, and more effective for your production. What else can you ask for? All right, so there it is. Three things that I really like about Logic. There's a whole bunch of other stuff that they have done. There's so many little bug fixes and a lot of little stuff that they've done. You can go into the release notes and actually see all of that good stuff. But at the end of the day, those were the three things to me that were very, very, very good for this actual update. Well, it wasn't really three. It's like two and a half because all the other stuff is it's just way too much. It's incredible how much the team over there at Apple does to get this right. It's unbelievable. But with all that being said, I hope you guys learned something from it. And I hope you guys enjoyed what I just presented. And like I always say, peace out. And if you don't have logic, go get it right now. <laughs>